Hey everyone, my name is Ronak and this is Python programming tutorials right from the scratch. This is tutorial number 40 and in this tutorial I will be covering the nesting. Okay, so this is a concept that I should have actually taught you a way back, okay, when I was actually covering, you know, the looping statements and conditional statements. But what I did was I just neglected it and then I realized that it is one of the important concepts, okay, and I actually should have taught you. So today I will okay and this tutorial is going to be short okay and now just keep in mind if you are watching this tutorial you will actually need okay you will actually need the if statement and if you don't know the if statement this is going to be hard. So let's begin. So what is nesting? Nesting is basically typing several ifs within one if statement okay. So what you can do is you can just keep going inside 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 of a loop okay and you will get the proper thing so let me just uh, give this with an example what we can do is we can create a loop within loop within loop within loop within loop okay so that is actually nesting and the this is actually beneficial okay and you will actually you might actually need this okay this might come handy okay so let's make something so let's say language is equal to I thought okay so assume this situation where a person is actually applying for a job okay and the company wants to know something or the other so what we can do is we can just say input and say enter your specialized language okay and so now just assume that this is a company that wants python programmers okay so we can just say if lang is equal to equal to python okay so if it is not python the company is uh, going to reject okay or or we can say or lang is equal to equal to let us just say c c plus plus okay so if these two languages are not there the company is not going to accept you for the job okay so we can just say print and uh, we can say you can continue okay or else we will say uh, you are not eligible for this job fine so now let's just test this. this this is actually the simple if statement okay and i hope you know this okay so let's just run this thing enter a specialized language let's say python and it says you can continue okay or else we can just say enter a specialized so first of all just let's c plus plus it says you can continue and uh, you can say uh, something that is not there okay and it says you are not el eligible for this job so now what we can do is we can now start nesting so with nesting what we will do is we are going to include one more if loop one more if loop so it is actually you know going to stack up so let me just show you so if now let's make a variable okay and let's say fields okay so they now need to know the fields okay so enter uh, your field okay so you are applying for a job and uh, knowing only python language is not going to give you a job definitely they actually need to know in what field okay in what field you work or uh, in what field you have experience okay something like that so now we can say if fields is equal to equal to let's say data science or we can say fields is equal to equal to web development okay or we can say fields is equal to equal to let's say graphics okay you can actually try anything you want you can actually try anything okay and we can just say print and uh, you are definitely definitely eligible for this job okay 
and uh, we can say else okay else we can say this place end for you okay so now what it will do is first of all it is going to go in inside this loop if these conditions are satisfied it is going here and if these conditions are satisfied you can continue okay so enter a specialized language let's say python and enter your field okay so let's say graphics and it says you are definitely eligible for the job now let's try something that is not there okay and we can say see it actually terminated over here so we can just say python and enter your field so let's enter something that is not there okay so let's just say app development how about that this place end for you in the same manner you can also you know make it intense it actually depends on you okay you can make it intense as much as you want you can actually stack you know around 10 loops so it is going to ask for 10 conditions and if all those of the 10 conditions are satisfied then only uh, you can uh, apply okay so let's say experience okay and uh, experience and uh, let's say input enter the years of experience okay now experience is actually expressed in integers remember so we can just say int you know, convert this thing to int and now what we will do is just make another and let's say xp xp is uh, let's say like if you have two years of experience or we can say expe is one okay so it is either uh, one or two years of experience then only you are eligible for this job or we can actually you know say if experience is equal to more than three okay so if experience is equal to more than three you are eligible for this job okay so you need minimum uh, three years of experience you can also say like this okay and we can say welcome to our company or we can just uh, say better luck next time so we can actually consider the the recruitment stuff is really rude okay <laughs> so let's just try this so let's say python okay and uh, let's say graphics okay and you are definitely eligible for this job. now enter the number of years so let's say four and it says welcome to our company so now you might have got an uh, idea about the nesting okay and nesting like i said you can actually create 10 loops 20 loops 30 loops 40 loops this is never ending okay and this is nesting okay and it has definitely a lot of applications okay so this concludes the tutorial thank you for watching goodbye